Uh, Nicholas Myers on Facebook wants to know, what can the NFL powers that be do to lead high school leagues away from similar health crisis? Does this start in high school? Pop Even Warner. before. Pop I Warner. mean, it starts in Pop Warner. Uh, we have to take the head out of the game. Because the problem, Boston University came out and they said, kids should not play contact sports before the age of 14. And I'm like, well, why 14? Your brain actually doesn't finish developing until you're 25. So your frontal lobes, they go through wild development during adolescence. If they don't take out the game, you, you know, you may never have ever played in the NFL or even college, but you have damage that has affected your marriage, your job, you know, your health when you're 35 or 40 because nobody was focused on your health when you were an adolescent. For your kids and my kids, I think that guardian cat, what I mentioned earlier, would be huge for them, just to lessen the impact in practice, even though they're small, they're not going to really hit each other like, you know, an NFL player would. But if anything we can do to protect their brains, it's, it's vital. Mercedes, you ever think of quitting the game? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough question. I think that uh, every, you know, professional athlete or athlete in general at any point in their lives, when the, the going got really tough, has thought about why am I doing this? Yeah. I got friends that are at home that are chilling, that are having a great time. They can actually get out of bed and walk and not have to uh, stretch uh, before going to the bathroom. Oh, that's so funny. Um, I've thought about that, you know, and then it goes back to my family, and that's why Gotta I quit. Gotta make a living. Gotta yeah. sacrifice. Your Canadian wants to know, what player will admit to these issues when NFL contracts are so easy to cut people? That's None. Right? That's exactly what we're talking about here. None. You know, Alex Smith, again, he admitted to it, and he lost his job. Players <laughs> notice that. So. Absolutely. It, you know, it's inherent, and, and it's part of the problem, you know? You can't get hurt, Larry. Put it that way. Dr. Andrew Rivers says, I played football from the age of 6 to 22. How prone am I to prolonged health issues? I'm 33 now. You're at a high this risk. High He's risk. at high risk. Now, it depends on the position, uh, because what we found were offensive guards, our offensive linemen had the worst brain damage, then linebackers, then defensive linemen, then running backs. Uh, safeties, quarterbacks, receivers had the least amount of injuries, even though they had some of the big hits. They don't have the repetitive linemen hits. Linemen are hitting in every play. Fullbacks yeah, you're in the trenches, happy. and you're at the point of contact every play. Mm -hmm. So I, I think... For fullback and linebacker, we start five yards apart, and we're crashing at each other. Your linemen are, you know, one, one, yard, one yard apart. Fullbacks and linebackers, we're five.